they say he come to apologize in behalf of all black preachers My Lord. who spoke against homosexuality and he come to apologize for them because they were wrong in what they said and he know it hurt them. <laughs> My Lord. You see, that's a lukewarm. Lukewarm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No Bible true preacher no. apologize oh, no. for telling you what's right if he's going to lose his life. That's right. That's right. So, Jamal. You ain't apologizing for me. No. I don't take back nothing that I said. That's right. That's God right. made the woman for That's the man. man. That's right. God did not make a man for, a man. for no man. That's right. That's right. Any time a preacher That's right. will apologize to the homosexual community, he's telling you God is a liar. That's right. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. He's telling you God is wrong. wrong. He's telling you God don't know what he's talking about. Right. He's telling you he's smarter than God. That's right. That's right. God declared if a man lie with mankind, it's an abomination. An abomination. God said it. I believe it. I believe it. God said it. I believe it. Let me say to you, Jamal, your grandmama is the sister to my mama. So let's keep this in the family. Me and you. With the Bible. With the Bible. And let's see is homosexual the will of God or the will of the flesh. That's right. Talk back to me. That's right. You may not like what I'm saying. That's and right. And I don't care if you don't. Switch all you want. All you want. Get the Botox as you please. That's right. But you have no flowers to be no purification upon you. No, no. That's a plain question. And you congressmen and congresswomen, all in the school district, now the topic is, what is a woman? What is a woman? A woman is the same thing that births you. That's right. We're going to make it so plain, you got to understand. God made the woman for the man. For the man. For the man. Like he made the church. That's right. For himself. That's right. That's right. The woman represents the church, and the man represents God. That's right. Man put forth naturally. A man put forth spiritually. Yeah, that's right. Because he put forth the word, word. and then the church bring forth. That's it. You pulled pit bombs. Bums. You scared spineless, lukewarm, lukewarm, apostolic fakers. That's right. Who don't 
have enough Holy Ghost yeah. in you to stand up. Stand up for That's right. A bunch of apostolic broke back mountain preachers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Am I right? I said. Amen. Hoorah! Go ahead. God says, I rather. I know your, thy works. I know your works. That thou art neither cold nor hot. You're not cold. Amen. You're not hot. I would, thou art cold or hot. The apostolics used to be hot. Used to be. The apostolic used to be hot and That's right. cold. That's right. Bold in what they believed. Bold in what they stood for. That's right. Debating everybody. That's right. Now Bishop got a twitch. Yeah. Bishop want to wear hot pink suits. Go ahead, man. Bishop want to divorce and remarry. That's right. He's 80 and want an 18-year-old girlfriend. Amen. Amen. Church has become nothing but dirty places of worship. That's right. Why? Climate change. Climate change. And because iniquity shall abound. Because sin took it over. The love of many shall wax cold. Don't love it no more. Amen. Don't love it. Don't love it no more. They want to sing like the world. Yeah. Just don't want to sing in the spirit like the mass choir was. No. No, that's not good enough. No. They want to add the world to it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Lukewarm choir. Lukewarm. Lukewarm Luke musicians. Yes. Want to go play for false churches and get paid and still want to play in the truth. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. A double minded man is unstable in how much? All his ways. That's right. I know thy works. Hallelujah, glory. Amen. The Holy Ghost has. I know thy works. I know it. I know thy works. Amen. The Lord knows our works. That's right. So who are we fooling? That's right. Why is it the churches are ashamed, ashamed. to be different? That's right. From the world. From the world. Amen. You reject holiness. Yeah. Just like Jesus came to his own and his own received him not. That's right. Old mothers now. Got more jewelry than Mr. T. <laughs> Amen. Fingernails red, toenails red. Yeah. Lipstick rude, fake eyelashes, oh, yeah. eyeline shadow. Oh yes. Somebody else's hair. That's right. Have their head uncovered. Uncovered. Many skirts all in public. Yeah. Bare back. Oh yeah. Why? Lukewarm. So then, because thou art lukewarm, you're lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot. You're not cold. Amen. Not hot. I will speak. And thee. when you're not cold and not hot, this is why the churches are ordaining the homosexual community. That's right. Even the Catholics changed what been called for years the Apostolic Creed. I believe they call it now the Queen's Creed or the Queer Creed. My Lord, my Lord. My Lord. And they say, I mean, they say he preached with anger. He preached with hate. No, I preach with authority from God. That's right. That's it. 
Are you a product of climate change? If you will look in your church, has it went downhill since your bishop passed? Yeah. Your bishop is old now, maybe sick. What stage your church is in? That's right. Look at your choir. Are they half naked now? Right. Are they singing with halters and mini skirts? Yes. And still want to hide under the title Church, church. of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Do the preachers fellowship with anything? Any, that's right. When you're the church, you live by the rules that govern the church. That's right. And this is how fellowship will be. First Epistle of John, chapter 1. First John, chapter 1. Begin and at verse 6. And we're at verse 6. Yes. If we say that we have fellowship with him. If we say we have fellowship with them. With him. You see, I ain't fellowship with no one who wish up them. No. And I'm not fellowshipping with anyone who, everyone that wish up him. That's true. Because they, him, and the Bible, him, may be different. That's right. Do you hear? If we say that we have fellowship with him. If we say, hallelujah, that we have fellowship with him. And walk in darkness. And walk in darkness. We lie. You are a liar. And do not the truth. You're not performing the deeds of truth. That's right. That's right. You're not a God sent man. You're not a man of God. That's right. Anytime you perform a gay marriage, you're not a man of God. No. We perform a marriage and the ones you marry already got living companions. We lie. You're not a man of God mm -hmm. when you participate in an ordination where women preach. That's right. You're not a man of God if you even go to a woman preacher's ordination. That's right. That's right. A man of God is not scared to stand alone if he got to do it. That's right. That's right. In the Old Testament, it says the people shall dwell alone, dwell alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the death of Jacob and number the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous and let my last end be like his. Right. What did he say? If we say that we have fellowship with him. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. Before I break off fellowship with God, yeah. I will first stop fellowshipping with you. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Because there is no slipping in God. No. There is no wavering in God. Oh, no. There is no compromising in God. That's right. And God don't get that close to no one that he can be coerced, brainwashed, or maneuvered out of divine place. That's right. This, then, is the message which we have heard of him. Listen. Now in 1 John chapter 1, I'm at verse 5. Yes. This, then, is the message which glory, we have heard glory, of him. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the message. Which we have heard of him. That we heard about him. And declare unto you. We declare it unto you. That God is light. What? God is light. God, I say. Is light. Is light. And in him. In him. Is no darkness at all. In him no error at all. At all. In him no wrong at all. At all. In him no contradiction at all. At all. In him no sin at all. All. And in him is no darkness at all. No darkness. It's a contradiction. Yeah. If I preach against we married and divorced. Yes. And then fellowship with men that condone it. That's right. That's right. It's a contradiction. That's right. If I preach against women preachers and then fellowship with men that justify it. That's right. It's a contradiction if I believe Jesus Christ is God and then let a man denounce him being God right in my pulpit. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Like they're writing me now, saying I'm wrong because I preach Jesus is the Father. Yeah. Let me briefly say this to you. If Jesus is not the Father... Why do you baptize in the name of the Father, of the Father and, of the Son, and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost? That's right. 
If Jesus is not the Father, then you should not be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Because he said, baptized in the name of, of the, Father, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And if Jesus is not the Father, you should not be calling their name. That's right. And if that's not his name, tell me. Tell me. What is the name of the Father? That's it. What is the name of God? Yes. That's right. Are you listening? If we say that we have fellowship with him, you say we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, walk in darkness, we lie. You're a liar, and do not the truth. Truth is something you do. Oh yes. It is not just something you say. Truth is something you gotta perform. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're not doing the truth. That's right. You say you believe Jesus Christ is God, and a man come say he's not, he's and you not. say he's your brother. You ain't doing the truth. Oh no. You lie. We lie and do not the truth. Now, viewers, hmm. look at the church you're in. Yeah. It used to didn't have women preachers. Yeah. Now your so-called apostle, your new apostle, your hmm. new blood. That's right. Now is ordaining women to be pastors and bishops, evangelists. That's right. And say they got a new revelation, which is a lie out of hell. That's, that's a lie. But the Bible said there's nothing new under, under the, the sun. sun. That's right. Everybody, come back to Bible. Come on back. That's it. Come on back. That's right. All right, listen. I know thy works. God said, I know thy works. That thou art neither cold you're nor not hot. Cold, you're not hot. I would thou art cold or hot. Look at the preference. Amen. What do you mean I want you to be hot? When you hear the word of God, it'll burn down it'll in burn. your soul. burn. That's right. Amen. When Jesus was teaching, it was said, did our hearts not yet burn while he is And they said with? one to another. Listen at this. In St. Luke chapter 24 and verse 32. What is it? And they said one to another. One to another. Did not our heart burn did within it? us? Did not our heart burn within us? While he talked with us by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures. Why is your heart burning? That's it. By the word. That's right. Because the fire of God comes by the preaching of the word, consuming everything in your heart that's not like God. That's right. Because whatever is in my heart that's not like God, if the power of the word consume it, then my mind fall in place, then the actions of my body fall in place. I will make my words in thy mouth fire. What? I will make... Do you hear this? Now in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 14. I will make... My words... My words. In thy mouth. My words. My words. That's why you got to stick to the word of God and preach it. That's right. Never mind no pre-planned sermon, none of that stuff. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. Oh, this no. thing is already planned out. It is written, whatsoever things are written full time, is written for our learning that we do pages and couple of the scriptures might have hope. That's right. And our hope is in what is written here. That's it. it, it our hope is so strong until the Bible says we have hope beyond the grave. That's right. You see, when you plan something, you are planning something that don't hurt nobody. That's true. You don't want to offend your wife. You don't want to offend your children. You don't want to offend your friends. Yep. But old-fashioned Bible, holy, sanctified preaching That's right. offends the sins of everybody. That's right. That's right. So that wind, that wind. came in church. And people gave into the breeze because it felt good. That's right. Churches have never been this bad since church been on earth. Yeah. One by one. one, by one. Organization after organization. Yeah. Fallen. Fallen. Babylon the Great is fallen. Is fallen. Is fallen. Or it take God give me the book of Revelation. Revelation. And That's right. Amen. Give me the book of Revelation. That's right. Bless God. Revelation. Come on, son. Revelation 18, and we're at verse 1. Listen. And after these things, I saw another angel. After these things, I saw another angel. Come down from heaven, down having from great heaven power. With great power. And the earth was lightened with and his the glory. the earth was like what? With his glory. With his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong and voice. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. Saying, Babylon the great. Babylon. The great is fallen. Is fallen. Is fallen. What did it become? And it's become the habitation of devils. As the, do you hear that? Amen. 
falling. The so-called apostolic faith, the great. The great. You are falling. Falling. That's, that's true. That's right. I want to say, what about the Baptists? Didn't they fall? No, because they never got up. That's right. What about the Methodists? Didn't they fall? No, they ain't never got up. Right. In order to fall, you got to be up. That's right. You got to start somewhere. That's right. That's right. That's right. Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is falling. Is falling. Is falling. Falling. There's falling and then there's fail. Fail. If I fail, yeah. I am not falling. Right. I'm falling on my way down. That's right. I'm crumbling. That's right. You're falling. Falling. Being dismantled. Yeah. Oh, yes. Politicians are in the churches now. Oh, yes. And this is what has happened to religion at large that claim they represent Christ. Oh, yes. Especially the so-called apostolic faith. Oh, yeah. You brag about you, the church, the original church that descended from Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost. Yeah. But yet your doctrine differ from them brothers. That's right. Them brothers ain't never ordained no woman. No. Them brothers never justified divorce and remarriage. No. Them brothers never had no female deacons. Them brothers never had junior bishops. Them brothers never had junior elders. That's right. Them brothers never had junior apostles. No. Them brother wives never was the first lady. No. They never justified outward adorning. No, they didn't. Or plaiting the hair. That's right. Or wearing the gold. Or putting on the apparel. That's right. Preach it. They never justify fellowship with the unbeliever. No. They never preach it was two or three or four thrones in heaven. That's right. Revelation chapter 4, begin at verse 1, quick. Revelation chapter 4 and at verse 1. Come on, son. After this I looked. After this I looked. And behold, the door was opened in heaven. Jesus opened up. That's right. Oh, I said I didn't say that. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, yes, it did. I said, yes, it did. Yes, it did. What a, did he say, son? A door was opened in heaven. Jesus said, I am the door. I am the door. That's right. I opened up in heaven. That's right. What did you do, Jesus? I revealed myself. Yeah. Made things known. Glory to God to the apostles. That's right. And? And the first voice which I heard. The first voice which I heard. Which as it were of a trumpet talking to me. as it were a trumpet talking to me. Which said, come up hither. Come on up hither. I will show thee things I'm which must be hereafter. I will show you things that's going to happen. And immediately. What? Immediately. I was in the spirit. That's what's missing in the pulpit. That's it. Yeah. Huh? That's it. Immediately, they in Bible college. Immediately, yeah. I was. Yeah. Immediately, they're in seminary school. Right. Immediately, they're taking a bunch of Bible courses. That's right. Who will take God, but none of that puts you in the spirit. No. It takes God, which is spirit, to put you in the spirit. That's right. Immediately, I was in the spirit. I was in the spirit. And behold. Listen, this a, is what you would see that's right. when you're in the spirit. And behold, behold, a, a throne. How many? A throne. How many? A throne. How many? A throne. A throne was set in heaven. Was set in heaven. And one, one sat on the throne. Amen. Not two. One. Not three. One. Not four. But you got to be in the spirit. In the spirit. When you're in the flesh, you don't see that. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. Because the kernel mind is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. And but when you're in the spirit, you will see there's only one up there. That's right. And? And immediately I was in the spirit. And what? And behold, a throne was set in heaven. He that sat with the look upon as the jasper and the sardis the stone, there was a rainbow around about the throne. In sight like unto an like emerald. Like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty round seats. Round about the throne I saw twenty-four seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders What did sitting, it look like? Clothed in white raiment. And they had on their head? Crowns of gold. Twenty-four represent the Old Testament and the New Testament. You had twelve tribes. 
tribes of Israel, and when he walked earth, he chose 12 men which made them apostles. Thank God he made them apostles. 12 plus 12 is 24, and they all had crowns of gold on their head, and they was arrayed in white garments, showing you that the prophets of the Old Testament and the apostles of the New Testament was anointed by the self-same spirit. And to the Bible say, all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. That's the right. same spirit that inspired the apostles was the same spirit that inspired the prophets. That's, That's right. why when the prophets saw one, the apostles saw the same thing. That's right. That's right. The scriptures is the foundation of the church. That's right. But you preachers, mm. you got off the foundation. Oh, yes. You became more focused on the swelling of your crowd. That's right. And That's your right. friends, your multi religious peers. That's right have coerced you to bring this in the church, this in the church. Your wife, Jezebel. Yeah. Along with other weak old mothers in the church. That's right. Wanted the dresses to get shorter. Yeah. So now the choir looked like a choir full of harlots. Amen. They took holiness and pushed it further and further and father and told the Holy One of Israel get away from us get away from us we don't want the knowledge of your way that's right you better give me the book of Job quickly Job. son amen. amen move fast Job now. chapter 21 and we're at verse 13 listen at this they spend their days in wealth ah, and they, in a, here here mm. Job 21 13 they spend their days in wealth very rich preacher you get rich off the people oh yeah huh? I misunderstand me. It's not a sin to be rich. If God make you rich, then God can make you rich. But anytime you got to rob the people, bamboozle the people to get rich, you off to go to hell. That's right. And you bear in mind, rich boy, you going. <laughs> That's right. And maybe it's all about it now. You're going. That's right. All right. They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment go down to the grave. What is the mindset? Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Do you hear? Amen. Before then, they was fasting, praying, focus on God, tarrying for the Holy Ghost. Couldn't wait to go down and water the name of Jesus Christ. Every time the church meeting was going on, they was in there running for their life, focus on God. But now something came in their life that right. had greatly take him and her over. That's right. And this is how they feel about God now. They say unto God, depart from us. That's the way Bishop got. Amen. He got so big until now the people wish of him that's right that's why i tell the people you that's can thank right. god for me but you bet not ever say if it wasn't from pastor Jennings, i don't know where i'd be i ain't your god when you make that statement you's a liar that's and right if it ain't from god you don't know where you would be that's right <laughs> That's right. Yes, I'm your shepherd, but let me correct my brother Bishop Williams. 
He said, we got one pastor. You got one overseer, but you got many pastors. Many pastors. Let me certify that in the Jeremiah. book of 1 Corinthians real quick, son. Yes. 1 Corinthians, uh, I believe, the 11th chapter or the 12th chapter. Let's get the operations of the church and see what's in the church and see how God pluralized these offices. God has set some in First the church. Come on, read quick. 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 28. That's what? And God has set some in the church. What? First apostles. So, what, how to spell it? A-P-O-S-T-L-E-S. What else? Secondarily, prophets. Spell it. P-R-O-P-H-E-T-S. What else? Thirdly, teachers. What else? T-E-A-C-H-E-R-S. What else? After that, miracles. And? Then gifts of healing. And? Helps. And? Governments. And? Diversities of tongues. And? Are all apostles. Give me Ephesians 4, 11. Now in Ephesians chapter 4. And we're at verse 11. Real quick. Ephesians chapter 4, we're at verse 11. Come on, son. And he gave some apostles. Read, do you hear it? Amen. Do you hear it? And he gave some apostles. Spell it. A-P-O-S-T-L-E-S. What else? And some prophets. Spell it. P-R-O-P-H-E-T-S. What else? And some evangelists. Spell it. E-V-A-N-G-E-L-I-S-T-S. What else? And some pastors. Spell it. P-A-S-T-O-R-S. And teachers. And some pastors. P A S T O R S. So I want say, oh, do you consider yourself the chief shepherd? No. No. So I want to say, but you're the overseer. That's right. But I'm not the chief shepherd. Not the chief shepherd. Jesus is the chief shepherd and bishop of our souls. Our souls. And when the chief shepherd yeah, yeah, shall appear. Just, just, just keep me where God put me. Right. Don't put me nowhere else. That's right. Just, just keep me right where God had me. When I be there, I'm safe. Safe. Go back to Revelation because so much coming to my mind. I got to knock off. Amen. Go back to Babylon. Amen. The 18th chapter, read fast. Back in Revelation chapter 18, right verse 2. Let's see what the church is, how it become. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. By God's help, that's what we're doing by God's permission. And I want to encourage all my brothers to cry loud, spare not every chance you get. Lift up your voice as a trumpet and show the people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Thank God and be hot and cold. Be cold, be solid, be firm, be steadfast, be sound. That's right. Be hot, be filled with the spirit until the word of God consume everything. That's right. That is in you that's not like God. That's it. When That's you're right. lukewarm, you can't be trusted. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What did he say? And he cried mightily with a strong voice. With a strong voice. Saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. Is fallen. And it's become the habitation become of devils. The habitation of devils. And the hold of let every me, foul let me, spirit. Let me, all of it. That's all of it now. Amen. It's what? And it's become the hold of every foul spirit. Every foul spirit. Spirit is in there. And a cage. Wait a minute. It's a cage. It's a dwelling place. Of what? Of every unclean and hateful bird. Amen. That's what the churches have become. That's right. Fallen. Fallen. You're so worried about associating and be identified with popular mega preachers. That's right. That's right. That's right. These preachers hang out with rappers. Yes, they do. They, they, they show T.D. Jakes hanging out with Puff Daddy at his party. My Lord, my Lord. T.D. Jakes sitting right there at Puff Daddy's party while pole dancers are jumping up and down twerking and <laughs> Bishop sitting there. My Lord. He ain't tell no woman there they loose. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So they would call this preaching, you extreme. Extreme. It's heaven or hell. That's right. Amen. That's right. God's way or no way. Or no way. You're on God's side or the devil's side. That's right. You love God's word or you hate or you God's hate word. It. You stand for God or you stand for the devil. That's right. You don't like to hear it like that. No. But when it's smoke clear. Oh, no. That's just the way it is. That's the way it is. When you fall from a building, nobody falls sideways. 
<laughs> you ain't falling this way. No. You fall out of building, you coming down. That's right. It's either up or down. That's it. It's heaven or hell. Heaven or hell. You celebrities can try to uh, make it look pretty as you want. <laughs> and many of you viewers have took Jesus and threw him in the trash. But yet you'll take Oprah. You'll take what she tell you. That's right. Uh, you'll take what uh, Dr. Phil tell you. Oh, yeah. You'll take what Denzel Washington tell you. Yeah. You'll take what these celebrities tell you who go to some fake Pentecostal church after they make movies and make Man. mockery about God and cuss God and lie on God That's and belittle it. God. And then they become some artificial Christian motivational speaker. That's right. That's right. That's Bible right. said, out of the same mouth or from the same lips proceeded blessings and cussings. And cussings. You would take what a celebrity said. Oh, yeah. And your bishop feel proud because he got Elvis in the pulpit shaking his hips. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Make him feel proud because a celebrity visited him. That's right. My God, man, celebrities visit First Church countless of times. Yeah. Especially ball players. Oh, yeah. NBA players, multi millionaires, basketball players, football players, uh, baseball players. And there was one at the uh, church at headquarters. I didn't know who he was. <laughs> My son, uh, Jordan, he knew. He said, Did you know the such and such? I said, Well, who's that? <laughs> yeah, but ain't no scripture attached to it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We're laboring to bring the people back to the original purpose. That's it. That God laid. That's right. Over to God before the foundation of the world, he commanded for man to live holy. holy. Thanks be unto God and that's what I'm laboring to bring creation back to. That's it. Huh? That's right. You creatures that's not afraid to be real holy, come walk with the word of God. Yes. But if you walk the real holiness, prepare yourself to surrender. That's right. That's right. That's another thing that used to be preached. Yes. You got to give up the world. Give up the world. You got to surrender. That's right. My God, man, that became a message of the past. Yeah. Preachers don't preach surrendering nothing. No. Because the flesh don't want to surrender nothing. That's right. But before you go back with God, if you go back at all, no. you're going to surrender. Oh, yes. And you're going to do it on God's terms. That's right. Finish up Revelation, William. Is everybody I all right? Amen. Come on, son. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. And what? Saying, Babylon the great is Glory fallen, is God. fallen. Babylon the great. You know, I feel like I haven't been sick a day in my life. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Glory oh, to God. Wonderful. Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. fallen. And it's become the habitation become of devils. Habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul hold spirit. Hold of what? Of every foul every spirit. Every foul spirit. Every foul spirit. And yeah. what bring these foul spirits in the churches today that never had been there because iniquity had a bound and the love that people had wax for the cold. word of God waxed cold. Wax cold. Now the church become entertainment. Yeah. Entertainers now. Whenever there's a convention, they hire entertainers to perform for them. That's true. That's true. Give me a holy sanctified solo, a holy sanctified choir. Yeah. Where they can, hallelujah. Lord, we thank God where they can sing in the spirit. In the spirit. Sing in the spirit until the Holy Ghost fall down upon the seeker. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. 